somebody now advised that I should use uh, this uh, thing they used to flush, so they run the engine for around maybe two to three minutes. Mm. Then uh, everything. So since then, I'll be I try to replace the oil as soon as possible, say, with 3,000 kilometers. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, this is, so when I now use this, there was no more flood. But recently, I now discovered this oil leakage from the distance. So we now try to treat it. We, op- it was, we now open the engine cover. That's uh, just uh, the valve cover. A week ago. Yes, the valve cover. Mm. On top of the valve cover, when you open it, you can see some sludge on the body of mm. which the mechanic remove it, yeah. uh, wash the one. But on the puppet, on the ro- rocker arm, yeah. You see every bit of, of sludge mm. on it. Yeah. So I was not thinking, how do I do it? And because <laughs> the something I fear is leaving it there is it safe on mm-hmm. the body of the rock arm, or is there any way somebody can get it out? Mm. <clears throat> well, you see, the sludge. Yes, yeah, you want to listen from, from the radio. radio. Uh, uh, then if somebody needs to clear this one off, because the other day I was joking, I said, okay, let me not scrape it so I don't fall inside the engine. Mm. So I just try to avoid such a thing. Mm. But if somebody wants to actually clean it for me totally, mm. is there any way forward and what type of cleaner can somebody use? Okay. You can listen Sorry, from the radio here. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing, the truth about uh, uh, this lodging is that um, it is a very tedious task mm. uh, a lot of people don't know how tedious it is until you get involved in dislodging because um, apart from the upper part of the engine that you just discovered that there is sludge how about the underneath the engine that is where you have the crankshaft mm-hmm. uh, of course sludge is going to build up there too and the thing is the sludging, like I say, is not an easy task because um, if you yeah. want to do it, you have to dis, uh, take off some of the engine parts, like the valve cover uh, uh, that you just took out. You need to take off the oil pan, yeah. otherwise known as the sump. And in some cases, too, you might need to take off the chain rail, I mean the chain cover or whatever. Mm. So it's like taking part, some part of the engine off to do that. And uh, cleaning it, yeah, well, if you can have access to removing it completely like that, then uh, you can use thinner to clean it up because all the parts will be exposed and open. And when you do that, we clean it up properly using air pressure and all that with mm-hmm. the engine open, yeah. allow it to dry. Okay. And then you can also use oil again, mm-hmm. you know, to uh, take out the presence of thinner okay. because thinner, as the name implies, thins oil. oil. It's a thinning agent. So if you leave it inside your engine, mm-hmm. uh, what will happen is that the oil you are going to eventually put in the uh, engine will get thinned out. It will become lighter. Mm, the viscosity. And, yeah, the viscosity will break. Mm. Uh, so that is why sometimes when I when people talk about sludge, I, I, you see the thing is not easy. Okay. If you use some of the commercially available uh, sludge dislodging agents you have in the market, they yeah. have high presence of thinner. And that is one of the uh, issues I have with it. So because it's not advisable. Yeah, yeah, well, if you will have to use it, you need to be very, very careful. careful. Not just using the, uh, the sludge remover or the, or the dislodging yes. agent yes. and then just use your oil directly on it. You mm. probably might need to use another cheaper oil, run it for some time before okay. you drain the oil and mm. then use the right oil you want to use. Wow. Because the thinning agent will be present all around the engine. The cheaper oil you're going to use to clean and all of that, mm. is it not going to affect any components in the vehicle? Yeah, well, at least it's going to be as adverse as uh, using, using the, the, the sludge, uh, sludging. Yeah, so, and, yeah. well. so uh, this is you, Dr. Ben, this is a, it's a complicated case. It's a very complicated <laughs> case, but you know, people are just looking at the uh, sludge waiting there. Because, yeah, if you, if you continue using it now, the danger is this, just mm. like he discovered. Yeah, so be, be, the first time he dislodged the engine, he used whatever they used, and then they, he didn't care about whatever happened. Happen, he yeah. assumed that all the sludge has gone wow. until the valve cover was removed and he's seen mountain of sludge inside the engine. Now, anything that will make that sludge break down mm-hmm. immediately yes. is very, very harsh. 
and because the, it contains uh, thinner. Yeah, thinner. and the effect is this. It's going to clean all that pasty substance, yeah. drop it underneath the sump, and the oil strainer filter is going to strain mm. the oil that will pass through there. And it will affect the engine because the engine will not be lub properly lubricated. It is really. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now, Polytron yeah. has uh, detergent okay. that can break down sludge. Yeah. But you see, the point is it has... why I don't want to advise people who have sludge in their engine to use it. Okay. If you use Polytron, yes. because of the, uh, the benefit that, other benefit that it has, which you probably bought it for, not for sludge. Not for sludge. It breaks down the sludge. Instead of you draining the oil out, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, pull it on the inside now. <laughs> <laughs> you run the engine <laughs> until you. the engine knocks. Yeah. And then you begin to think, what, what happened? Up? Yeah. But the truth is that Polytron has done part of his job by cleaning out all the debris inside the engine and settling it down under the oil it pump. It yeah. down now there. the oil pump is unable to suck oil mm. to supply to the other part of the engine. And the engine freezes up. Because that means there, there won't be any oil there. there. There will be oil, but the oil is not being supplied. It's not supplied? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. So then, yes, we really need people like you, you know, to be able to so do this sludging job. It, you know, it's, not, it's, it's not, not some, a job that anybody can do. Just anybody yeah. can do, yes. It requires a lot of professionalism. Okay, uh, no problem. Uh, just contact Dr. Ben or any of uh, automatic staff for that. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, morning. Um, I, I'm new to the show. I'm struggling on Hello, can you go over it again? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you repeat it again, please? I use the Passat and Volkswagen Passat. Okay. 2008, no, 2007, 2008. Okay. Uh, the challenge I have recently, I observed is I'm in a long traffic. Yeah. Temperature increase. Okay. But when I use it, when I, when I use the AC, mm. so the once I switch off the AC and use it normally, it works and the temperature comes down to normal. And the, actually, the experience I had before then was that once I'm in a long traffic like that, yeah. the goodness become hot instead of the temperature. I don't know, I think you're not saying. I don't feel like the AC doesn't I, cool I, properly anymore. Cool properly. When I'm in a traffic before, that was, what, that was the experience I had before. Okay. And it doesn't get cold anymore. Mm. So once I, that the temperature was normal then. Mm. So when I compared to my mechanic, he, I think they tried to remove because the, the Thermostat. Mm -hmm. It's connected the thermostat that because of the fan or something. Mm -hmm. So they now work the relay on the on the on the fan. Mm -hmm. So that was when I started experiencing that issue. So but someone told me I should go and flush my radiator. I don't know how that one is concerning the temperature increasing. <clears throat> well, flushing the radiator is one of the one thing to do if the radiator okay. is dirty, most especially okay. the air passages uh on the uh, that is on the surface of the radiator. Uh, okay. If it is dirty, sometimes you find dead insect trapped within the fins, and then dirt, mud, and all that also trapped in there. Cleaning it okay. will allow enough air to flow through it. That is uh, one. Then uh, I don't like this thing they did by running a relay through uh, the fan, because that fan is controlled by a computer. So what they have, what they, I mean, the fan is run by the computer. Exactly. So, so what they have done now is to perpetually make that fan run directly at the highest speed. Yes, I think that's exactly what's happening now. Yeah, which Once is... Once I start the engine, because before I have to start the engine, it's going to run without the fan speaking. Yeah. Until temperature is high before it, mm. it the fan is full. Mm. So now it's as good as, but not a good battery, <laughs> it cannot come on. And uh, the, the, uh, the Volkswagen that I know very uh, very well is very finicky with the wiring. Okay. Yeah, yes. because yes. Yes. if they start doing that very soon, you begin to have major electrical problems. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, so if, whatever you can do, let them revert back to the original system that it was running on. Okay. I think the challenge is they are not getting. Maybe, but, that's, 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 that's my problem. 
somebody did a bypass and then tell him revert back to the way it was and then he tells you he can't do he it. He can do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm telling you, the temperature of this place is like, not coming. That's why Thomas uh -huh. Hardy is not necessary, you know? It's not I was like, definitely, from before they can do that, uh -huh. it's not nothing to do with the temperature. So it should be regulating itself. You see, well, well, that engine is overheating, and that is why when you are in traffic, when the temperature yeah. gets high, the AC pressure temperature, I mean, the AC pressure gets so high that it doesn't cool anymore. Mm. That was the yeah. original problem you were having. Now, instead yeah. of them solving that problem, they created another problem which seems like they have solved the original problem. That problem is not solved. That problem is still there. But they added another oh. one on it. Well, um, in 2008, it's still within okay. the vehicles that um, Auto Automedics receives, but then there's okay. a caveat to, we will look at it too and also see how badly they have tampered with the wires. Okay. All right? So uh, okay, if sir. you don't mind, you can come to our facility, we'll look at it and make an assessment, and then we'll tell you our honest opinion about it. The office address or phone number, I can call it. Come over. Uh, the office, um, where is your location? But well, I prefer you come to the come head office, you. which is at Ilukweju. Okay, I start to call it. Okay. You can come to the Ilukweju head office. It's right um, beside the rail railroad that, that, uh, that is what at the Ilukweju Rail Crossing. My map will be able to take me there. The name of the company. Automedics. Automatic, yeah, automatic. if you look for it, uh, automatic. yeah, automatics. If you look at it on, look for it on Google Map, you get it. That's a look at your yes. office, you'll see okay. it on Google Map. Okay, 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 thank you. Sir. Then okay. I also observe another thing recently. My oil gets short, also the engine oil, yes, yes, anyway. and we're not smoking. Anyway, let's not take other people's time when you come, we'll look into that, all right. <laughs> Okay, so I'll tell you that. Right. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Well done. Yeah. Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. All right, let's head on to the roads to see what we have there. Yes, for third mainland, we have it. The traffic is uh, is fine. Yes, on that corridor, there is steady from Adekunle End. Yes, all the way to... Yes, uh, the island. And um, for Ikorudu Road, we have it that is still a moving traffic also from Itowolu all the way to Marto of Kushofe to K2. And we have our officers on ground on that location trying to control the situation, of trying to control traffic there. So if you have any issues, just um, keep your fingers crossed. We have our officials there. They will help you out. Then we have it also that... Um, for okay, still on Ikorodu Road, it's also slow at um, Obanikoro to Fadei and on Eco Bridge all the way to Akongbon. The return journey is slow from CMS to Ofi Canal, descending Eco Bridge through Alaka to Stadium Onipan to Anthony. Others uh, are a bit um, on the good side, yes, a side bust of activities and alternation point. We still have officers too on that particular corridor. Okay, and um, for Ikorudu, I'm just getting that now, that there is a broken down BRT bus after Demory Junction in Wazilele. Um, the, yeah, uh, it's having a mechanical problem. Okay, so we have our officers on ground. That's, uh, it might uh, actually cause a bit of traffic on that stretch, but don't worry. We have um, our officers there to help you out. Okay, we have um, more questions here on our WhatsApp. So we get you more reports and control room. Please give me a fresh update so that I can advise motorists at this time. And don't forget that uh, for those on the stretch of 3rd Mainland, at 12 o'clock, you won't be able to apply that uh, route. You won't be able to move through the 3rd Mainland to the island. So that means you have to go through Ikorodu Road at the time from 12 o'clock. So just put this at the back of your mind as you journey. Okay, Dr. Ben is still very much here and also ready to take your car questions. Uh, let's move on to WhatsApp again. This one says, I have been using Honda Accord. This person is not online. 
but I, I don't know if he's listening, but let's just give a try. Uh, I use a Honda Accord 2003 for the past 10 years, and I've never changed the spark plugs. Do you advise I change them, though I'm not having any issue with them? <coughs> well, if you're not having any issues, uh, then it means it doesn't have a problem, but it doesn't take anything to stick out the spark plug no. and also look at the appearance and see how they are actually burning. If the ele electrode are eroded, just like we discussed in one of our leadway programs, yeah. if the spark plugs uh, electrode are eroded, you probably will need to replace the spark plug, <clears throat> even though it's not showing any sign of any problem. But I, I, that is what we call a preventive maintenance. Mm -hmm. You don't wait until something until happens, something happens exactly. before you start replacing. But by the time something happens, you are actually doing repairs. And you spend more. Exactly. Mm. So preventive maintenance is cheaper mm. than doing repairs. Okay. Yes, that's advice from our experts. <clears throat> So do preventive maintenance. And somebody is also asking on a... Facebook, right? Yeah, on our Facebook. Okay. Yes, I think... Um, uh, there is a Balogun to... Olawale is asking about um, transmission fluid for Camry 2004. Okay. Uh, most of the fluid for that year range is uh, Toyota T4, that is okay. type 4. Mm. Uh, but then you can also use Dextron 6. It okay. still conforms to it. All right. And also for our listener, don't forget that after the 10 minutes lead assurance segment, okay, I'm st I think I'm going to throw out the questions before we go for lead way. <laughs> <Yeah>, so. <laughs> so we have free vouchers here from Lakfi. So if you are lucky, well, you will be able to get uh, one of these vouchers. So uh, we're not going to give you any expo here. Uh, but I'm going to throw out the questions before we go for lead way. So just uh, keep listening so we know how uh committed you are to listening to automatics okay let's continue with our questions this one says uh oh, this is a prayer i guess the prayer is for me mm. yeah okay it says uh i bought a nigerian used to Toyota corolla 2003 i recently discovered that the linkage rod linkage rubber and linkages have been completely removed mm. is it safe mm -hmm. to be driving the car without linkages and what are the implications of driving the car in such manner? Mm. This is uh, a question that really touches me too. Huh. Uh, Has been removed, Doctor Ben. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I know. I know why they removed them. Okay. And I you know, do. Yeah, I know why. Uh, and the reason why is <clears throat> it's just because the, the vehicle probably has been plying uh, roads that are not very, very good. Okay. And uh, usually, what the that is that that is the anti roll bar. Okay, mm -hmm. what it does is that it stabilizes. The reason why they call it stabilizer rod, which it stabilizes the vehicle when you are taking a sharp bend. Okay. On high speed. Mm. So what it does is that when you are taking a left turn, for instance, yeah, the vehicle will tend to tilt, you know, towards the right hand side. That is on high speed. If you take the left turn, okay. yeah, the vehicle will tilt to the, yeah, right, to the right, like trying to tip over mm -hmm. to the right. Hmm. Now, what the stabilizer does is that since the wheels on the right-hand side yeah. is dipping inward, it will force the left-hand side to come down lower. So instead of it tipping over, it will force it to stabilize and come down lower. Huh. That is what it does. And same goes if you are taking a sharp right turn. Okay. Now, the problem is this. If you are using the vehicle on a very uneven road, okay. when, you, when, when one wheel goes higher yeah. above the other, it will force the other one up as well, okay. which means that wheel will not have very good grip on the road. Wow. And... That is why most people who ply on such road, mm -hmm. would, uh, you know, take them off. Or what will eventually happen is that they will keep breaking off. Okay. But manufacturers have a way out of this. Mm. So what they have done for most luxury vehicles, the yeah. Range Rovers, okay. the Mercedes Benzes, and the BMWs, what they do for them, mm -hmm. they do what they call an active anti-roll bar. So when you get into a situation like that, instead of it being connected, it yes. disconnects. So every wheel goes free on its own. On its own. When you get to a level road, mm -hmm. it connects back. Back. Wow. But the normal static one doesn't disconnect. 
So it will be very, very uncomfortable for you if you are driving through hilly, uneven roads. Yes. It will keep breaking off mm -hmm. and you're still having that inconvenience. Huh. Dr. Ben. So <laughs> the thing is, if you are going to drive on very high speed, taking sharp bends, yeah. and you don't have it, then it's not safe. Oh. This is advanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then there are other systems that can actually work with the vehicle mm -hmm. to make sure it still maintains its stability. That is, if you have the vehicle stability control, control, vehicle dynamic control, and any of those stability control installed on, installed on the vehicle and still working, okay. then you are still home and drive. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. well... I hope we'll be able to understand all of this very soon. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, the person who asked the question, I think. Yeah, I think the person should understand. I'm, yeah. I, th I believe uh, most technicians, uh, senior technicians, will be able to understand that uh, the logic behind all of this. Okay, yes, let's take a short break for our 10 minutes leadway assurance segment. When we come back, yes, we start with our questions because I don't want to give you any expo now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning again, and uh, welcome to another 10 minutes Leadway Assurance segment here on Automatics. My name is Mike James. Okay, then, so uh, today on Leadway, we'll be looking at um, wheel alignment. But before we proceed, I want you to understand that cars can seem like complicated machines, especially when it comes to caring for them. Should you spend your time and money? on thing A or thing B, service one or service two. Well, just follow along as we share one of the simplest keys to maintaining a safe and healthy car. Proper wheel alignment. It's an often overlooked service with plenty of perks. Well, good news is after today's Leadway 10 minute segment on automatics, you will realize that wheel alignment is the simple key to a safe healthy car but before we move on let's uh, take a breather as we take a message from our sponsors of this uh, the sponsors of this segment lead reassurance we'll be back <laughs> and wife you are bad here eh? don't spend your pension as if it's forever it is forever my friend with the lead with personal and with your plan tell him my husband <laughs> <laughs> On retirement, I ported my pensions to Leadway Assurance. With my Leadway personal and retail plan, I get a salary for life. I can even get a yearly salary enhancement of up to 5 to 7.5% increase. Promotion during retirement. Ajani the baller. That's how we roll, though. And if anything happens to me, eh? <laughs> they will continue to pay my pension to my wife. <laughs> Keep calling with the Leadway personal and retail plan that gives you a salary for life after retirement and more. Call 0128. 700 now. Leadway Assurance, ensuring happiness since 1970. All right, welcome back to your 10 minutes Leadway Assurance segment here on Automatics. And today we are looking at wheel alignment. I've got Dr. Ben here with me in the studio. Good morning to you, Good morning Mike. to you, Dr. Ben. All right, so. Now we're looking at wheel alignment. For starters now, yeah. what is wheel alignment in your own term as a professional auto technician? A wheel alignment actually means the way the wheels are aligned on the vehicle mm. and also positioned on the road. That is what wheel alignment means. So um, literally, that is what it means. Mm. The alignment of the wheels on, on the, the vehicle, vehicle yeah and the way they're positioned on the road yeah now um what are the big benefits now let's look at some of the big benefits of uh, proper wheel alignment mm. yes, on your vehicle well uh proper wheel alignment will give you better control of the vehicle okay. uh better handling and uh, also better fuel economy 
and also better tire management. Now, when you say fuel economy, how does this impact your fuel consumption, uh, mm, the okay. alignment of your wheel on the vehicle? <laughs> All right. You know, a lot of people will be wondering, uh, what does alignment got to do with uh, yes, fuel, fuel consumption. consumption or fuel economy? Uh, anything that uh, causes the vehicle to drag will impact on fuel economy. So if your vehicle has any difficulty in uh, rolling freely mm -hmm. or moving easily, then it means that the vehicle will consume a lot of petrol because the power to propel it will become higher. Now, are you trying to say that heavy-duty trucks, trucks carrying um, heavy load, mm -hmm. would consume more fuel? Uh, well, the, every vehicle has its own uh, average uh, fuel consumption per kilometer. Okay. Uh, therefore, if you are talking about the trucks, they also have uh, bigger engines than the vehicles. Okay. So, therefore, everything is calculated oh, based on right. the size uh, of the vehicle. So, uh, and on the trucks too, should they have any problem with their wheels, if their wheels are not also aligned, mm -hmm. they will consume more than uh, usual petrol or, or diesel. Uh, while on their journey. And I'm sure you've seen a few trucks on the road and you see maybe uh, some of the tires creeping off Absolutely. or wearing on the side. Sure. That has to do with alignment too. Mm. So are you saying it's not just the position of the tires on the road? Uh, well, basically? you see, it depends on when we're talking of wheel alignment, mm -hmm. we are talking about the wheels that actually stairs. Okay. Which means the, ve I mean, the wheels that the steering wheel is, uh, is connected to. That is, where, that is when we are talking of alignment. But today, alignment has even gone beyond that because we mm -hmm. also have the rear wheel alignment. Oh. Because uh, since we have a multi-link rear suspension systems, mm -hmm. it also becomes imperative that the rear wheels are also aligned. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they are not aligned, it means that the tires will wear out rapidly. And uh, mm -hmm. if, you, I mean, if you take uh, a very good look while driving on our streets, you'll find a few vehicles driving and then you see either the rear wheels have positive camber. Now we're talking about, we're getting into, uh, as, as, I mean, a real proper alignment no, issue. Positive like. camber okay. or negative camber, toe in or toe out. Hmm. Now, if you are driving behind a vehicle and then you see the, a K-like leg, leg, you know, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've seen a few of yes, them I've like seen, that. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. that is what we call negative camber, okay. which means the wheels will be wearing from the inside. The inside of the wheel will start, the, the tires will start uh, tapering off. And that is, which means that the tires are not having direct contact with the road surface. Oh, okay. Which means only part of the wheel is having contact. contact and that is not uh, safe and uh, good enough. Good enough. Now, this question says, um, how does alignment impact the overall health of my car? How can you break this down in summary? Yeah, it does in a great way because uh, if the alignment is also not good, it also has effect on the, uh, uh, the suspension entirely mm -hmm. because uh, the, you find out that the vehicle will be unstable and also will be very hard to control which is also putting a lot of stress on you as a driver, as a driver. because uh, when you're driving a vehicle that is not stable, uh, you put more effort trying to put it straight on the road or while cornering or whatever you do, your, your, your hands must always be on the wheel and uh, not just being on the wheel, but also trying to struggle with the vehicle. The vehicle is trying to go a different direction <laughs> from where it, you are supposed to be going and then you are uh, struggling to put it in the right part. Now, let's take this last one. It says, how often should I check my alignment? Uh, it is uh, very important that each time you do your normal uh, preventive maintenance or routine mm -hmm. service, yes. the wheel alignment should be checked. And uh, if you've been driving your vehicle to uh, over some bad portion of the road and then you feel any... Um, something strange with your steering wheel, the way you're steering uh, your vehicle stairs, or maybe you feel any play in the steering, you should endeavor to go uh, uh, to check your wheel alignment as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. So it's um, something that you should be very wary of that um, should be done periodically. If there's nothing wrong during uh, the normal service, you should do it. But if you have any cost to bump into a very hard bump mm -hmm. or go mm -hmm. over some rough edges and all that, you need to have your alignment checked. More often. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Ben, for... Uh, your contribution on this uh, topic. My pleasure.
On this note, we've come to an end of another Leadway Assurance 10 minute segment on Automatics. Now, do not forget that Leadway Insurance has the Happy Plan, which is a robust plan that thought of all your needs and with one premium cover. We have the household building or content based coverage. We have the motor mandatory rider, personal accident mandatory rider, legal occupies liability and so on. It also has the silver, gold and platinum covers with all all with awesome features. You can reach out to Leadway on the website www.leadway.com or call us on 01 to 800 700 that is 01 2800 or 01 800 701 wife you are party eh? don't spend your pension as if it's forever it is forever my friend with the lead wave personal and retail plan my husband <laughs> on retirement i ported my pensions to leadway assurance with my leadway personal and retail plan i get a salary for life i can even get a yearly salary enhancement of up to five to seven point five percent increase promotion during retirement Ajani the baller. <laughs> ah, that's how we roll oh. and if anything happens to me eh? <laughs> they will continue to pay my pension to my wife <laughs> keep calling with the leadway personal annuity plan that gives you a salary for life after retirement and more call 01 to 800 700 now leadway assurance ensuring happiness since 1970. all right so welcome back that was the 10 minutes leadway assurance segment by mike james talking about wheel alignment and benefits of aligning your wheels well i hope we've been able to pick one or two things from there okay now um this segment now we're going to be uh, asking you the questions yeah and uh, we have the vouchers here we have free vouchers from latvis yeah, and show it to us, people who are seeing it all uh, well okay <laughs> people can see us online yeah these are the vouchers so we have free vouchers for you you know what this voucher we do you have um, the opportunity of uh, visiting any of the Latvis Center to get your vehicles inspected. So you don't have to make any payments. That's if you've not done your roadworthiness. Uh, you can just uh, drive in into any of Latvis Centers and get your vehicles inspected for free. That's with these vouchers. So the first five um, respondents or the first five calls I'm going to pick now, uh, they're going to be answering these questions. I have Dr. Ben, I have just four questions here. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Let, let me see the question you have. If they tally with mine. Oh well. Okay. I think you should just draw the questions, Doctor Ben. You should be the one to draw the questions. So I, I will be listening. I will probably trying to watch to uh, yeah, to the check the yes, it, uh, yes, well, on WhatsApp. On let's WhatsApp. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if anybody is going to get it through with the answers. Okay. So let's have the questions, Doctor Ben. Uh, question number one is uh, how many? The name five uh, Lagvi centers. Uh, okay. I know they've been here quite a number of times and they've mentioned where they have their uh -huh. centers. Just name five of this them. This is like John Question, Dr. Yeah. Ben. <laughs> how, how is it John? It's easy now. Because, they've mentioned because a lot I'm of sure centers. a lot of people, they will be listening, but I'm sure they're not going to put it so hard. They're not going to, you know. Okay. And sometimes they're not mindful of some things. Yeah, this this will tell us if they're actually listening to well. the segment on uh, automatics. <laughs> name five uh, language centers. Five language centers. Then That's the uh, also question. name five type of tests. That they also conduct, Lavix, uh, Lag uh, Vis also conduct. Okay. And also, they they've been here a couple of times, and they tell uh, they tell us how many type of tests they run. Okay. You know, so tell us how many five, just five of them. Five, tests. five Lag Vis mm. centers and mm. five tests. Okay, let me just reduce five the tests. Components yeah. that is let me just reduce. Okay. The three <laughs> tests that you know they conduct. Okay. And then uh, we've been talking about Polytron here yeah. most of the time. Okay. The MTC written uh. on Polytron, what does it mean? Hmm. Dr. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> the empty series in the void was okay, what has it yeah, stand And for? then the last one. Okay. Uh you also had us talk about onto automatics uh, synthetic Okay. Uh five W thirty. Yes. It comes in how many liters? Oh. So if question. you know you don't want to answer these questions, I don't think you should just put this call through. If I'm picking your calls, I expect you to just say something about this question. So, and um, if you don't want to put a call through, you can send us your um, answers, yes, via our WhatsApp or through our Facebook. I, I'm not getting any call now. Okay, let's see if this person has an answer to it. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Yeah, my name is Tanita Fair. 
Okay, do you want to answer any of our questions? No, much for this call regarding my car. Uh, okay, you just ask the question and then uh, uh, listen, we'll treat that later. Okay, you could go ahead with the question. Oh, you want to answer the question? You want to attempt the question? Yeah, if you have a question, I could attempt. Okay, we have a uh, lag face. Uh, how many centers? Can you give us five centers that you know? Of your centers? Lag no, yeah. centers. You said? Lag centers. Yeah, I know you have one at uh, Goan. Not automatic centers now. Oh, no, I do, I don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. Can you ask your car related question and then uh, we'll treat that later? Okay, this is my question. Yeah, I I drive NDX, Akura NDX 2003. Okay. So I noticed of a recent, no, it has happened before there is a switch on the gear. Mm. Sometimes, in, sometimes in May, August last year, the, the switch gets pulled off the sensor. Which of which switch is that? I mean, the sensor, sensor. On the gearbox or where? Yeah, on the gearbox. Do yes. you know the name of the sensor or the switch? I don't know the name of the sensor, but it's, it's on outside. It's on the very close to the battery. Well, um, you know, okay. Uh, well, so what really happened? You, you replaced it or what? No, it, it gets pulled off and it was returned later, it gets pulled off. Mm -hmm. So it was replaced. However, before it was replaced, I noticed that sometimes when I'm when I'm driving the when the RPS PS goes as high as uh, mm -hmm. four thousand before the gear will change mm -hmm. sometimes. And uh, occasionally I noticed a jack when you want to select change from one gear to another. Okay. Uh, the simple thing for you to do is, if you know any of our center, okay, 2003, oh, you can go to um, anywhere they run a diagnosis, I mean, they do diagnosis for cars, run a diagnostic test on it. I'm sure it's going to come out with uh, a couple of codes. Now, with the codes, we'll be able to tell you exactly what is going on with the gear, and then we can take it up from there. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, All right. Okay, okay, I can yes. see you smiling. A lot of people got it, right? <laughs> Some people are answering the whole of the four questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that, that's okay. Okay, yes, this person, the first um, responder here says four liters. That the 5W first is four liters. You're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, so you're wrong. And the second person here is, uh, I think he's answering the question for uh, the centers, the Latvian centers. Okay, he said, okay, or by, no, 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 it's not in Okoba. A Greek, yes, I think it, a Greek, uh, Ikorodu, Bagada. We, okay, he said they should mention five centers. Five right? centers, yeah. So you were not able to mention five because there's no Koba there. Yes, they do not have Ojodu there. Yes, you only got the Bagada. And the, you said types of tests. I think we are just allowing you to answer one question at a time. Am I right, Dr. Ben? Oh, well, it's okay. Just one question because this person is answering three of the questions. Okay. So how do we go about that? Well, the people who answer correctly, if you answer one uh, correctly, you get okay, a card. Okay, yes, said MTC, that's metal treatment concentrates. Yeah, that's good. Yes, yeah, I think you got that right. The types of tests. Okay, I think that's all we're going to take from you. you at least yeah, you have uh, won one of our vouchers. So please, uh, you can visit um, um, Traffic Radio. Yes, anytime, visit Traffic Radio. So you just tell them you have... Um, a voucher here so, from automatics uh, yes from uh, automatics yes this person is also answering you know, with somebody has taken a metal treatment concentrate we love the center uh we have ojoju okay said this baja ayobo okay correct badagri uh badagri is there yes ikeja shogunle okay please how do we now you you didn't include your names they you have to put their name you didn't include your name so that's the only way we can identify you yeah. yes we you didn't include your name so please this person the first person i i took um is um response that talked about um uh, 
the five centers. You need to send me your name now. Okay, Ayodele Daramola. Okay, Ayodele Daramola. Yeah, yeah, we, we owe you a voucher so you can come over here to pick um, your voucher. Then the next person, uh, you also need to send me your name because I can't see your name here. Yes, you also uh you have a voucher here then the third person okay no you didn't get it right you didn't get it right it says okay five liters okay please include your name in your answers include your name dr ben well um, um, what's the third question you asked uh well the, the, the third question uh the mtc and then how many liters yes right? how many liters and then the somebody saying five conducted. liters yeah that's correct five liters yeah. okay Yes, uh, please send me your names. If you have answered questions here today, send me your names so that I can take down your names and we we'll get the vouchers ready for you. Then this person says 5W30 comes in four liters. No, 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 no. Uh, the automatic school synthetic oil, five liters, no. What's the last question? The synthetic Dr. five liters. <clears throat> yeah, that's correct. But the, the first, uh, the four the first okay, four liters. Five W thirty comes in four liters. No, five liters. It's four. It's five liters. So the this first person who answered no, the first the first person who answered five liters uh, got yes, the card. Yes, you got it right. So yeah. we have two winners so far. We have two winners so far. Um, yes, please just send me your names. This person says you have five centers in Nigeria. No, no, no. I do not have five centers. Well, I mean, a lot of people are making a mistake. They think we are talking about automatics. We're no, talking we're talking about, about LAFVIS. Lagos Computerized, computerized vehicle, vehicle Inspection Service. service. Yeah. There are centers. They have 20 centers. So we just said you should mention three of the centers. Five. We have five of the centers. Yeah. Okay. Somebody has gotten it already. Mm. Yes, somebody has mentioned five centers. So what's another question again? The fourth question, Dr. Ben. Polytron. Yeah. I think we talked about Polytron. Yeah. Somebody got that already. Somebody got that already. MTC, that's metal treatment concentrate. Okay. Uh, this person said, are your delay? Yes, I appreciate you also. So please calm down. How many cars are gone now? Yes, we have three questions. So uh, three people, uh, three people have won the voucher. Oban Oban La Uluato Sin. Yes, that's another winner. Uh please send me your name. Send me your name and I will be able to link that name with the uh response that I have here so I will know if you have actually answered correctly. Okay, so uh yes, yeah, these people are trying Ojojo Computerized <laughs> Test Test Center, Ibejuleki and nope. Nope, 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 nope. Someone has already answered this. Okay, so we have just three questions, Dr. Ben. We have no, the no, the, um, uh, position four? four. Okay, what are the four well, questions? Like this, then uh, uh, we said three type of tests. Yes, three type that, of tests. Uh, like this conducts. Nobody has gotten that yet. Yeah, nobody's mentioning that. Nobody's mentioning that. So if you're that, answering, yeah. answering any question, don't, uh, don't mention anything about don't mention uh, the anything, centers. Uh, yeah, anything about, about MTC mm -hmm. or anything about uh, 5W30. 30. Just go straight to tell the us type of test, the type of just test. Just three type of tests that uh, uh, language conduct. Okay, this person says emission test, <laughs> suspension, power trains. Please, what's your name? Okay, are you <clears throat> Dele Adebosi? Is it? Am I right? Then the last one will be the last person who calls us today. Okay, uh, can we see? We can't pick any more calls. Just, the just say hi to us. And okay, just say hi to us. Just say hi to us. And um, you are a because winner. We must give the Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, good morning. What's your name, please? My name is Sheyi from Mikrodu. Sheyi from Mikrodu. Okay, you just you won all our vouchers. Today. So you can come uh, over to pick the voucher here in Lagos Traffic Radio. Thank you. Yes, just identify yourself and get a voucher. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how five much you guys on Monday we're going to give more. Okay. The language more. people will be here too on Monday. On so, Monday, uh, okay. So we'll give it along with them. Okay. So I have the names of uh, our winners. I have Ayodele. Uh, is it Dara Mola now? Then I have Obanla Luatusi. I also have Ayodele Adeboshi. Then Sheyi from Ikuru. That's four, right? Yeah, I'm okay. The yes, I'm still expecting the last person to send his name. Okay, I'm going to look out for that person that got the last, um, uh, the last question. He said, My name is, uh, okay, Adeolu Paul. Okay, Adeolu Paul. Adeolu Paul, you're also a winner. 
years of one of our vouchers. Okay, thank you very much, everyone that has called in and everyone that has sent in their questions and um, giving answers to these questions. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm to be here. My name is Adirun K. Well, also want to appreciate the social media guys. Thank you so much, Big Boss, Hotel Victor, and the executive producer, Itayo Akunle. Thank you so much for the success of this production. See you again on Monday. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye. Thank you.